right, seven minutes after nine o'clock. If you're looking at the streaming video, you will see Dr. Michael Lang running into the studio in just a second so he can answer your questions. And this is an opportunity for you to ask Dr. Lang a question or two about your eyes, your eye care. Your, your <laughs> He's walking in. And so today we were recording it so you can watch yourself coming in. See, I thought you were going to fly in here. You walked in here <laughs> gently. and uh, warm me up. Yeah. Good morning, <laughs> Doctor. How you doing? Hey, good morning. It's great to be here. Wow, Robin's sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty she looks today. Well, well, the afternoon show took the microphone from the studio, so we're so Robin has to use that one. So yeah. I hope you don't mind. That's fine. <laughs> I like the pink one. Well, after all, she is not uh, not just a, a co-host on a radio show, but she actually is a, a patient of yours. She is. That's right. She's been a patient of mine for years. For yeah, she helped build the Lang Empire. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I saw her the other day, and uh, I think we put her in a new contact lens. Yeah. And, yeah. And it feels her, good. So let me, let me just do the right thing I'm supposed to do here. All right. The phone number to call to ask Dr. Lang a question is 622-9622. Remember, Dr. Lang can answer your, all of your health questions. He focuses on the eye, to use a pun right there, not intentional, mm -hmm. uh, and also on, on your nutritional health. He's a board-certified optometric physician and a certified nutrition specialist. And I think, do you, you think in the course of your day... People just chatting with you, they ask you more about eyes or more about nutrition. What do you get most? Well, it's, uh, it's grown quite a bit on the nutrition side. Uh, obviously, we do mostly eyes, but it's probably 30% nutrition uh, questions as well. But every patient I see, no matter what the age is, uh, we do discuss some form of nutrition with them, whether they're six years of age or 106. And uh, you have a phone call, so let's go to that. And uh, good morning. You're on the air with Dr. Lang. Uh, good morning, Doctor. I hope you have your breath back. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. He, was, he did good. You came running in, but you couldn't see it on, sc on the screen. You were slowly. <laughs> yeah, I flew down those steps. I saw that. <laughs> Very good. Say, uh, a quick question. Are there any vitamins that we take before bedtime that would impede sleeping or would help to sleep? You know, that's a great question. Huh. And, yeah. you know, I am... Probably one of the biggest people that has more sleep uh, or insomnia than anybody, right? I just don't sleep. I got my brain's running a thousand miles a minute, and I just don't sleep because I try to do a lot of work after the kids go to sleep. I get on the computer, do a lot of work. One thing that I'm finding that impedes sleep is actually, believe it or not, working on that computer emits blue light, okay? That's the high intensity visible spectrum of the sun. And I've been experimenting with something, actually wearing blue blocking sunglasses. And it makes sense. You put a blue blocking sunglass on when you're working on the computer, just a yellow lens or a yellow amber lens or an orangey lens, yeah. and it does block the blue light so your brain doesn't think you're outside in the sun. Therefore, that your brain thinks you're, you know, it's nighttime. Your pineal gland starts to secrete melatonin, serotonin, and you start to get sleepy. So oh. that's a little trick for people that uh, can't sleep well. But also... We need to stimulate that serotonin level that stimulates the melatonin, and we do that, believe it or not, by eating some organic pumpkin seeds about an hour and a half before bed, wow. drinking some organic black cherry juice an hour and a half before bed, and then there's one last thing that you can do that really seems to help. People that have restless leg syndrome, people yeah. that just don't sleep well, um, also you can take some powdered magnesium maybe an hour and a half before bed yeah. and this helps you relax the muscles there's a product on the market I like called calm and the combination of those three is actually very very effective and then also do not do any exercise three hours before bed because that kinda gets you hyped up yeah. and if you could stay off the computer and the television for three hours before bed that would be ideal as well and then you don't want to be having a lot of sugary content uh, foods right before bed. You don't want to have a lot of high carbs before bed. Okay. It's a rule of thumb. You really don't want to eat anything except the things I just mentioned right before bed. And yeah. so you don't want to be taking your vitamins right before bed either because a lot okay. of vitamins will have, you know, a stimulation effect. So if you're having trouble sleeping, try not to take your vitamins right before bed either. How about a, a good quality uh, glass of red wine about an hour before you hit the sack? You know, that's fine because the alcohol will help you relax a little bit. Okay. But the problem is a good quality red wine is very hard to find. Remember, yeah. red wine is made from grapes. And right. If you listen to this program, grapes are one of the dirty dozen. Yep. The dirty dozen are filled with uh, contaminants, pesticides, herbicides. All right. Yeah. And then, if it's not a biodynamically grown wine or organic grape using a biodynamic uh, winery, they add additional sulfites. Wine already has sulfites that naturally occur. 
So you're putting a lot of chemicals in your body. So what I would recommend, get a good biodynamically grown Pinot Noir from the Oregon region. Okay. I like one called Acrobat and King's Estate. Those are two brands. Yeah. You can't go wrong. And you drink into your health. They're the highest amount of resveratrol. Remember, resveratrol is a potent antioxidant that actually uh, may help uh, reduce macular degeneration wow. and actually may increase your lifespan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to try those different things. Where, uh, where can you, do you, would you know of locally where you can buy the wine that you were referring to that had all, that had all the bad stuff in it? Yeah, that's, you're probably going to have to go to a health food store. Okay. Uh, that, now they they kind sell of a, wine in a health food store? No, like a grocery health food store that sells oh. wines. You know, like a Whole Foods, a Fresh okay. Market, a Mother Earth. Yeah. Um, if you're ever in Clearwater, you can actually go to the Lang Sun and Nutrition Center, which okay. is on Drew Street in Clearwater on US 19, and we have... Everything I talk about on this program, we have available at that center. Oh, that'd be great to have something like that up here. You know, I've thought about it. You never okay. know. <laughs> yes, that sounds like it would be a great idea. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. All right, All right you take you. care. I know. Uh, the number here is 622-9622 if you would like to speak to Dr. Lang. We were in uh, Clearwater this week, and we should have stopped by. Mm -hmm. You should stop by. I'm in Clearwater every Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night. Really? Yeah. Really. Uh, the, the connection between vitamins and, and sleep was something I had never thought of before. So right. And there's so many people out there that are sleep deprived. Remember, if you're sleep deprived, your C-reactive protein and your cortisol levels go up. Inflammation in your body goes up. And so simply by sleeping well, you can reduce the chance of you having a variety of diseases. Not only eye diseases, but problems with your heart and your brain and everything else. So sleep is one piece of the puzzle. Exercise you know, appropriate diet, appropriate supplements. And we talk about appropriate supplements because, you know, there's so many vitamins out there that are actually bad. You know, this is Macula Degeneration Awareness Month, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. All of February is, and, and I actually just want to uh, shout out to the group uh, that I, I lectured to Friday afternoon from 2 until 5 o'clock. It was a long lecture uh, to a dinner group at a uh, restaurant in Crystal River called the Olive Tree. And we had a huge crowd, and it was really quite, quite an interesting lecture. And then on Saturday, uh, Kim and Foods, Kim and Human Nutrition, they're the manufacturer of Fluoroglow Lutein, actually sponsored my talk show on Saturday out of Tampa. And Dr. Dick Roberts, who's one of the leading authorities on lutein, came down and hosted the show. And it was a pretty incredible show as well. But the gist of this is we're really trying to push, you know, macular degeneration this month and teach people what they can do to be proactive at slowing down their macular degeneration. Because I gotta tell you, their optometrist isn't telling them, their ophthalmologist isn't telling them, their fellowship trained retina specialist isn't telling them. They're basically just giving them injections and And why and not? Doing why aren't they telling them? Well, I think because it takes, well, number one, they may not know. They may right? not know. They That's may not I'm know, thinking, so yeah. they don't want to talk about it. But number two, it takes too long, all right? Mm -hmm. So uh, if they're not getting paid for talking about it, they're probably not gonna do it. You know, yeah. you go to these doctors and there's, 50 people in the waiting room and the doctor spends, you know, five minutes with you. Well, they don't have a lot of time to talk to you about nutrition. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of retina specialists actually uh, told me, I, I just created a, a new two-page article. It's on the Fortify website at fortify.com. I've had about 15 world-renowned retina specialists saying it's the most complete 17-step um, approach for people that have dry macular degeneration they've ever seen. And so I just published it about a, about a week ago. It's on our website. But it's a 17-step approach, a modified approach now, because I, I wrote one about two years ago, to helping slow down macular degeneration. It goes into detail what to eat, what not to eat, what to drink, what not to drink, what vitamins to take, what vitamins not to take, even what color sunglass to wear to help people with macular degeneration. And i got to tell you, it works. Um, in, in what way? It stops it? It slows it well, down? Well, you know, it's not a miracle, but it's, it's, Does it it's a total it lifestyle all? adjustment. But... It slows down macular slows degeneration dramatically, and I have seen people where it's actually reversed it. I have seen people improve. Yeah. And remember yeah. what I say, if we make the eye healthier, we're making the heart healthier. So we can actually improve the health of the entire body. But one thing I also want to mention, I just want to, I want to tell something to all of our listeners out there. You know, if you are vision impaired from macular degeneration, and we did a show on low vision years ago, um, you got to find a low vision specialist, all right? Because if you're vision impaired, life is not over. You can use new generation low vision technology that will actually enable you to still read just about anything you want. All right? They even have scan and read technology if you're blind. So technology's changed a lot. And the problem is, 
it's hard to find a good low vision specialist. And then it's very expensive to see the low vision specialist. Oftentimes it's not covered by your insurance. So what we've done, we've actually hooked up with a company called Enhanced Vision. And people, get your, your pens and pencils uh, ready because Enhanced Vision makes some of the best low vision technology in the world. And what we've done, we've, wor we've worked out a deal with them where they come out to your house for free. All we do is call them or you call them. I'm going to give you a phone number. And they're, you just tell them Dr. Lang recommended it. And just by saying that, they're going to give you an $85 discount on your wow. shipping because shipping is very expensive for this technology. But there's a product called the Merlin. The Merlin is a closed-circuit television system where you take your material, you put it underneath it, it brings it up on a screen in a multitude of different contrast colors, and you can read just about anything you want. So your dependence on others is going to be reduced dramatically. So what this, this company will do, they'll send their um, representative out, with all of their low vision technology to your house at the time that's convenient for you you can try it for a month if you don't like it you get a 100 percent refund so it's called enhanced vision i'm going to give you two phone numbers the local rep his name is dave christensen write that down dave christensen and his cell phone number is 407-730-1900 1964. One more time. Dave Christensen, cell phone 407 730 1964. And then his, uh, and then the uh, toll free number straight to Enhanced Vision in California is 1 800 440 9476. 1 800 440 9476. So if you're vision impaired, you know someone's vision impaired, call these people. They'll come out free of charge. They won't bill Medicare or anything. And they'll teach you, they'll show you. You can purchase if you want. Uh, if it doesn't work, you get a 100% refund. And you have another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Dr. Lang. Hey, good morning, y'all. Um, night vision. Man, what, why is it getting noticeably worse and what can you do to restore it and are you going to have this information you just gave for the guys in california on the website i'll hang up and listen all right good good question i the second part i'll answer robin will put that on after we're done here so uh, good good uh, night vision is a problem especially as you get older all right it didn't sound very old but as we mature a few things happen number one the ciliary muscle in the eye starts to lose its focusing ability so you cannot react as quickly as you could before you cannot accommodate and focus so therefore your night vision actually becomes worse number two as we get older and uh, birth and forward is aging as we get older your eyes start to dry out when the cornea dries out it dehydrates and then the optics become very poor when you're driving at night you've been up all day long so your eyes start to dehydrate so using a good unpreserved artificial tear the ones I like the best that you can get through any Lang Eye Care location or off of the Fortify website is Oasis Tears or Oasis Tears Plus. Simply put a drop in your eye right before you start to drive at night. And then also, as we get older, once again, that great maturation phase, you start to develop some lenticular changes. You start to develop changes in the lens in the, in the eye. That's the human crystalline lens. It starts to get yellow, usually around 40 years of age, and then yellower at 50 and 60. So that's what a cataract is. So cataracts will also cause your vision to be impaired at night. And then lastly, most of us are somewhat nutritionally compromised. I don't care who you are, you're going to be somewhat nutritionally compromised. If I do an intracellular blood analysis and look at the lymphocytes, I'll actually see that you have some nutritional deficiencies. So we can actually help your night vision by adding certain supplements. And once again, something that will help macular degeneration as well is lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. Those are carotenoids that will improve night vision, will improve reaction time, will decrease the glare recovery time. So if you have a car heading toward you with a bright light and a, that dazzle effect and you yeah, can't right, see right, for a minute, right, right. well, the combination of lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin will help that tremendously. And, you know, so this science is legit. It's out. And so what did I do? I developed last year a product called Fortify Focus because it improves your focusing ability. It reduces the dazzle effect. It improves night vision, basically. So it's one little black pill you can take called Fortify Focus. We were on back order for a while because Dr. Oz has spoken about this type of ingredient for about three times on his show now. Uh, we just got a big shipment in yesterday, so uh, we aren't on back order anymore. So you can get it at, at any Lang Eye Care location. You can get it Fortify. Or just start eating more spinach, kale, wild Alaskan salmon, goji berries, 
orange bell peppers, and you're going to get those nutrients. They're more potent and more concentrated in the supplement, but if you eat those foods, you will get them. Now, you also have to remember, for lutein and zeaxanthin, you need to cook it, all right? Don't eat raw spinach, raw kale, raw orange bell peppers because you can't... Well, orange bell peppers are okay raw, but the spinach and the kale, anything that's green, has chlorophyll in it, and you cannot digest the cell wall. A cow can, a human cannot, so you can't release the bioavailability of the lutein, which is very important to improve night vision potentially, but also to help thwart off macular degenerative changes. So chop up your spinach and kale, gently saute it in organic coconut oil, or put it in a juice and juice it. Never juice it with carrots, all right? We've talked about this. Yes. Because carrots are high in beta carotene. I'm not saying don't eat carrots. If you're going to eat carrots, eat them at a different time. The carrots, the beta carotene, will actually block the absorption of the lutein. By the same token, do not take a vitamin with beta carotene in it because the beta carotene will block the absorption of the lutein. I guarantee it will happen. Uh -huh. I'm the lead investigator in one of the studies proving this now for six <clears throat> years. What happens is uh, it, it actually goes into the liver. It's kind of complicated. It goes into the lymphatic system and into the liver before it gets into the blood. And lutein has two hydroxyl groups on the outer edge. And what happens is it's all due with cholesterol. You've got to have cholesterol, believe it or not, to get absorbed. You've got to have fat for it to absorb. Uh, but the beta carotene, which is a carotene, blocks this xanthophyll, which is another carotenoid, and it blocks the absorption in the liver. So you do not want to be taking beta carotene. Four to five vitamins do not have any beta carotene in them. Then lastly, if you're overweight, and your retina specialist probably hadn't told you this, remember, if you're overweight, lutein is absorbed in fat, okay? So if you're overweight, it goes to the fat, all right? And it doesn't go to your eye. So the best thing in the world for macular degenerative patients, and maybe even people that are having problems at nighttime, is to lose that weight. If you lose that weight, then it won't be stored in fat. It goes directly into your eye. So think about all those people out there that are overweight, that are eating lots of beta carotene, maybe mm -hmm. eating carrots with their spinach, and uh, they have macular degeneration. So we can wow. adjust that macular degeneration. The, the biggest thing, the biggest take home on this today's show is if you're got macular degeneration, is the fa family history of macular degeneration, lose weight. Get on a good diet and exercise program, lose weight, eat plenty of spinach and kale, orange bell peppers, and goji berries. Do not pick, take beta carotene. Take a supplement with lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. And you'll live a long, healthy, visually fruitful life. And we're going to talk about goji berries in a second. <laughs> do, do you know, one of the things I want to mention is that the advice you give is so good, and I think I absorb a lot of it having listened to you for so long. But the problem is, and it's a psychological problem, obviously, how do you convince somebody else to pay attention to what I'm, I'm telling them secondhand? Like I say, oh, I heard Dr. Lang say this, you should do this. And they say, oh, okay, that's nice. Then they don't ever, ever do it. For example, getting back to the, the, the sleep thing earlier, you were talking about how you need to get sleep. I have a friend, and he, of all people, a doctor, and he says his mind goes a million miles a minute, and he never gets any sleep. So well, how do I tell him to get more sleep? Sounds <laughs> 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 we, we, we practice what we preach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I really uh, <laughs> I, I, I understand coming, what you're you? saying. You didn't see that coming, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I got to adjust my lifestyle. I sure do. You know, I really want to help so many people, and I, I just, this is not enough time in the day. <laughs> now, if I didn't have to work, if it didn't work every day, I could do this during the day, and I could get some sleep. So that's a novel idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe instead of working six, seven days a week, I start working four or five days a week, and then those other three days I can work on things that I usually work on at night. It's <laughs> a very good idea. How about the people that are on Coumadin, uh, they've come out of the hospital, they've had to change their medication, and their doctors tell them they have to not have any foods with vitamin K in it because it will react. Right, that's a great question. And once again, we do a lot of these intracellular blood studies, especially at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, because we have a blood lab upstairs. And we see that our patients that are on whole, lots of medications that are extremely nutritionally compromised. Remember, many medications will block the absorption of nutrients. And then the other medications, the doctor will scare the patient into not eating specific foods. And Coumadin is one of those, warfarin. They tell you not to eat any spinach or kale or dark green leafy vegetables because of the vitamin K, and it may actually thicken up the blood instead of thinning the blood and interfere with the prothrombin time. Well, you need, th these people need to talk with their physician. And, you know, they're not talking to the physicians these days, all right? Mm -hmm. It's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and nobody talks to the physician. 
And then if you do ask the question of the physician, oftentimes the physician gets a little bit upset. If that happens, it's time for a second opinion. You, you're paying or your insurance is paying to see the doctor, not the technician, not the PA, not the nurse, the doctor, and to have enough time to answer any and all questions. And one of your questions should be, hey, Dr. So-and-so, I heard Dr. Lang talking about on the radio that I need to eat spinach. All right? But I'm on Coumadin. You told me I couldn't eat spinach. Mm. But you can, okay, if you eat the same amount on a daily basis. So a, a half cup of cooked spinach every single day, let your doctor know that, then it will not, they can regulate the Coumadin so it doesn't interfere with the prothrombin. So that is something that is very beneficial. But you could always take the lutein supplements. Let's just say hypothetically your doctor says absolutely not, you can't take um, any Coumadin, I mean any spinach or kale. The Fortify Complete Plus, the Fortify Complete One a Day, the Fortify Complete Macula Defense, all of our uh, vitamins, I've taken all vitamin K out of it. And we've tested it on literally thousands of patients, and it does not interfere with Coumadin at all. So that's a way that you can get the lutein and the zeaxanthin and the astaxanthin without having the vitamin K if you're apprehensive about it or feel a little strange and your doctor doesn't want you to do it. But most people can eat the, the foods as long as they eat the same amount on a daily basis. Have you, doctor, have wow. you, uh, the information you have is so amazing and so plentiful. Have you written a book or are you I writing? I started writing a book many times and the problem is uh, once I start a couple of chapters I change because of all the new information oh, that comes right. out. So I could do, you know, the first novel like and the an second internet. one. Well, it wouldn't be a novel. <laughs> it would be a resource, you know, something we would, because a lot of times you'll say something, I wish I could go back to that. Right. Like open to page 33, oh, there it is right there. But you say it changes. Well, that's why I write a lot of articles. I write a lot of yeah, articles yeah. and I post them on the website. I do a lot of YouTube videos and put them up on mm -hmm. the website. Um, Articles are fairly easy to redo and, and change around. And so that new one, like I said, I just did it. It's uh, uh, Nutritional Intervention Lifestyle Modifications, Vitamin Supplementation for Macular Degeneration. We could actually retitle it and say for complete total health, all right? And it's, a, it's about, uh, well, it's two pages, but it's pretty small print. And you can get it at fortify.com, F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, fortify.com. You can read it. It's on the left-hand side, halfway down. Um, or just call Arlene. She can send you all this information. I also wrote an article recently on nutrition for dry eyes. But call Arlene at Fortify and Clearwater, and that's 866-503-9746. 866-503-9746. Also, one more time, talking about food for the macular degenerative patient or for anybody, for the guy that has poor night vision that just called. Right. Remember, we talked about losing the weight, all right, taking the lutein supplement, zeaxanthin and astaxanthin supplement, something similar to Fortify Focus, um, but also taking omega-3 fish oil, it's something we didn't touch on today. Omega-3 fish oil, that's an oil that improves the bioavailability of carotenoids. So that's why I always say take your Fortify Focus with either a hard-boiled egg or eat some fish, eat some steak. Or better yet, take a fish oil pill with it, and that's going to help the absorption of these carotenoids into the body, into the blood, into the retina, and believe it or not, into the brain, because these carotenoids are in the brain as well. Mm. There's a lot of good research coming out talking about it uh, for the brain. I want to mention something really quick called ILE, okay? ILE is a new treatment for macular degeneration. I don't want everybody to think, oh, this is a new miracle treatment because there's a lot of doctors I'm already seeing it happen over in the Tampa Clearwater area. Uh, it's a new FDA-approved medication. It's actually what we call a VEGF trap. It's very similar to uh, Macugen, Lucentis, and Avastin. It's an injection in the eye. The problem is it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to say it's a new treatment. You're going to think it's a miracle cure, and it's almost $2,000. And uh, that's very expensive. So a lot of people can't afford that. And you have to have eight injections in a year. So oh. that could be very expensive. I still think a Vastin, which is only $75, is still as effective as anything on the market. Most retina specialists think that as well. Obviously, your retina specialist is going to make a recommendation to you and probably, hopefully, make the best recommendation. But ILEA is a new FDA-approved drug for macular degeneration. Wow. You'll learn a lot more about it. Hopefully, the price is going to come down that dramatically. That's like good news. But the key here is not to ever have to see the retina specialist. Not to have to have a shot in your eye, and the way you do that is what we just discussed through proper nutrition, dietary changes, lifestyle modifications, mm -hmm. uh, wearing the appropriate wow. sunglasses. So let's stop it so it doesn't become a problem. Okay. Most of the information Dr. Lang told you as far as getting a hold of him or Fortify is on the website right now. The other two names, uh, Dave Christensen's information, 
uh, will be on the internet in just an hour or so when, when Robin gets it done. Dr. Lang, thank you for all you do for all of us, keeping us healthy and get some sleep. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> and if you want to catch me on the internet, you can just go to drmichaellang.com. There is a section, Ask the Doctor, on there. comes right to my email. I answer all emails every night. All right, and this video of this show will be on today as well. All right. In just a little bit. All right, hang in there. We'll take a little bre uh, break, and we'll be right back. I've been to awaken from these dreams. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! 